sneakpunch.com. Okay, today we're going to talk about the stance. And the most common question I'm asked is that we stand correctly. Okay, when I was amateur, one of the coaches explained it to me. Basically, he said, if you can kick a ball like so, then you stood correctly. Because a lot of people, when they stand, they stand with the feet behind, and when they do the kick, they kick the back of the leg. And obviously, you're going to get you're off balance, you can't stand correctly, and you obviously can't get no power in your punches. Okay, so when you get into that position, again, so you kick the ball first, push forward, okay, and back, and forward. Okay, same again, if you turn, again, you kick. Turn and kick. Okay, you do a double, one, two, and kick. Okay? So again, so if you push forward, keep your legs there, wide apart, that foot there, you kick the ball. Okay? You can sit down, you can jab, you can sit back on the back foot, uppercut, but as long as that's there, you, you stood correctly. Okay, what we're going to talk about today is uh, keeping your chin down. As an amateur, I used to keep my chin high in the air, which is definitely a no-no in boxing. Okay, so what we're going to do is just show you, basically if your chin's high, you're, going to think you're more open to get punched. Okay, so you don't want that to happen. Okay, what, what, what my trainer came up with was a fantastic method. He got himself a little bandage and he put it underneath the chin, so it keeps the chin down. Okay, so again, so your chin's nice and tidy, like so, like that. Yes, right down, very hard to get in. Okay, same again, if you want to take that away, you can use a tennis ball. Again, same thing, keep your chin down and you can punch. Okay, that's right. And time. What we're going to talk about now is about stances, okay? So a lot of people have this common problem of going too wide and you don't want that because you're not going to get power in your punches. Okay, so you want to be out this width apart. So what we did was we came up with this idea of tying your two, two feet together like so, so you can only go that wide apart can't go any further. So see if you just push forward, that's it. Try and keep that tension in that, in that band. It's just, it's just a, it's a normal bandage where you can tie on your foot or string or wherever you want. Do the rope. That's it. Really good. Okay, so spin round. Spin round this way. Okay, sit down. Legs apart. Always try and keep that tension in your, in, in, from leg to leg. So it's always there. Okay, resistance band there. Okay, you can buy this from any shops. Again, you pick yourself nice and tidy, tuck it under your elbow like so. So it's there. So it brings you, brings your guard back right there. Boom, boom, boom. There. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Really good exercise to do. And again, it builds up the shoulders, helps you punch it, and it brings your guard. It also makes you it doesn't overextend. So another good way of enhancing your speed and strength, okay? So you get yourself some two, two kilograms or one kilogram weight. Basically, get your boxing stance and you punch. As you punch, you turn the punches in. So you get yourself a little 20 second timer, you punch. 20 seconds, put the weights down, you come up and you go, you go again. Nice and quick, fast, speed, 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 speed. Okay, you change your combination, then you would do uppercuts. Again, 20 seconds, as fast as you can. Boom, 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 boom. Nice and quick, nice and fast, that's it. And put the weights down after your 20 seconds and punch again. And that's it, really just get the punching going. And it's amazing how much faster you go after when you put the weights down. Really good way of getting your speed up and fasten and making the endurance better. So another tip I learned along my way in my career. Okay, basically you get your partner and you get yourself a bandage, you put your bandage around the bag and it goes right the way back so it's all up so that way. So it's about on your shoulder length there, when, when, when you've got the bandage going out. Okay, so what the idea is, you get your guard there, you go underneath. Underneath and come back up. Make sure your guard, your guard doesn't drop, you keep your guard up, that's it. Under, 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 under. When you've got that off, you start punching. Okay, so you tap, hit, one, two, under, 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 under. One, two, boom, boom, boom. Double jab, okay, double jab, sit under, come up with the upper cut, under, the left hook over the top, again with the right hook, under, upper cuts, underneath, come back with the left hook, okay, and time.